Service-connected pes planus, flat feet, can lead to plantar fasciitis. For many veterans, the rigorous demands of military service leave lasting marks, not just on their minds, but also on their bodies. One common but often overlooked issue is pes planus, or flat feet, a condition that can lead to another painful disorder, plantar fasciitis. Pes planus occurs when the arch of the foot collapses, impacting the foot's ability to absorb shock and distribute weight properly. This structural anomaly can develop due to injuries, weakened tendons, or as a stress response from carrying heavy loads, a frequent requirement in military service. When the foot's arch flattens it changes how forces are distributed across the foot. Let's delve deeper into how this can escalate into plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia, a thick band of tissue running from the heel to the front of the foot, normally supports the arch and absorbs the shock of impact. In a flat foot, this fascia is overstretched as it attempts to stabilize and support the arch. This constant overstretching can lead to inflammation and micro tears in the plantar fascia, particularly at the heel, where the fascia is anchored. This condition is known as plantar fasciitis, characterized by sharp pain that is often worse in the morning or after resting. Notice the inward rolling of the ankle, or overpronation, typical in flat feet. This not only adds stress to the plantar fascia, but also affects the alignment and function of the entire leg, contributing further to the development of plantar fasciitis. Here, we see how the pressure points shift in flat feet. The increased pressure at the heel and forefoot can exacerbate the strain on the plantar fascia. Understanding the connection between service-connected pes planus and plantar fasciitis highlights the physical challenges that can persist long after service. For veterans suffering from these conditions, Recognizing the cause is the first step towards addressing the pain, even if the march goes on.